sports are supposed to be our escape. They're supposed to be our distraction and our happy place. It's crazy when they can't be. And at this time, every sport, every athletic escape is being halted. Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. The sports world rocked by the coronavirus. Do you honestly believe we are going to have a season? I don't, and I never did. I don't think they'll complete the season. No one is going anywhere for the draft. Everyone will be at home, a virtual draft. I definitely think that this is an indication of more to come. NFL training camps are scheduled to begin in just more than a month. The league has not released many details for how they plan to protect players for COVID-19, though. NFL players and the Players Union have been at odds over how to bring players safely into training camp. But this morning, one issue, perhaps the most important issue, is now agreed upon. Number one priority is to make this the safest stadium we can possibly make it. Perfect day of school. See, Mizzy, what it do, my boy? What's up, Rash? What's up? Will? What's up? Gave yourself a little, sh little uh, shave and a cut since I saw you last. <laughs> yeah. If you have a question, I want it to be like if we were in the room together. You can say, hey, coach, do you mind going over that again? Or what do you mean by this and that? Guys, we will go over this and over this and over this. You'll get it down with no problem. You guys got me? Yes, sir. Please feel free to reach out to me anytime. Please feel free to text me, call me at any time. That's my job. And uh, I, uh, I look forward to doing my job. So, guys, that's 121. I went a minute over. I apologize. Uh, gives you a couple minutes to get yourself set to get into the other meetings on offense and defense. And uh, thank you guys for your time. I really appreciate it. All right, well, Coach. I appreciate you. Appreciate it, Coach. Appreciate it. A lot has changed. Moving into the hotel was uh, basically a sleep factor for me. Being able to get uh, that extra hour of sleep that I'd be driving every day. It was actually a whole lot easier if I just stayed over here and walked over. Got up at four o'clock, started looking at emails, uh, waiting for testing to come in. I gotta jump on a call real quick. You're already in the building there? I'm walking over now. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll see you in just about five minutes. All right, I'll get you. You know, you, you got to be prepared for little fires to pop up everywhere and things to happen and, you know, tests to pop and everything else, and you got to deal with it. Let's go get tested. I think some of our biggest challenges are making sure that uh, football can restart, people can get their jobs, and we can keep this thing rolling. And Because without football, we're kind of dead in the water. If players don't feel safe coming back, they won't. If we don't have a position to say that we're the best, we're the cleanest stadium we can possibly be, we're failing them, and I don't want to fail them. A lot of people counting on it. Good morning. Good morning, first and last name. Hey, Eddie Levins. Nice shields, I see this. Yeah. Stepping up. Every day. Every day. All righty. This morning, there's a new mask mandate in Charlotte. Commissioners voted it in yesterday. It means everyone in unincorporated parts of the county have to wear a face covering while they're inside a building where social distancing is not possible. They will post signs at government buildings and encourage businesses to do the same. My husband, Don, is the equipment manager, and we have been with the team since it began. So we've been here quite a while. The kids and I were thinking of ways that we could kind of help out with COVID. Um, I thought it would be a great idea to possibly have Don bring some work home for us to work on. 
he knows that I wasn't really doing anything. <laughs> and he called me one day. He's like, Nicole, I have the perfect job for you. He came home with all these masks. And he's like, you're going to iron all these. And I got some help. It's a lot of work getting this all prepped. But we want to be ready to go whenever the decision's made that everyone will be able to come back to work. We are in the, the players' locker room right now. You can see we have pretty wide lockers, and uh, there's normally there's 74 lockers in our locker room. Uh, we're using every other locker. Just by looking at it, uh, the middle of one locker to the middle of the next locker that's being used is, uh, is over seven feet. So we've got real good spacing there. Down the middle of the locker room, we have put temporary lockers. Everything uh, downstairs here is for the players and they get to spread out. Normally we'd have them grouped by, by position. So we, we switched that around. As you can see, we got an offense, we got a receiver. We have a DB, we have a running back, so it, it, it's, uh, it's scattered about all the different positions in here. So if there's a case, if, if somebody does become infected, we're trying to limit it to just that one person and not take out an entire positional group. A couple of our meeting rooms have been converted into temporary locker rooms. This was formerly the defensive team meeting room. Uh, it, it now houses uh, 10 lockers. Lockers are spaced out uh, by more than eight feet and it's kept very cool, so I think it's a good setup for them. Morning. You here for testing? Yeah. All right. To the left, all the way to the end. I have been with the Carolina Panthers for about 10 years, eight years full-time, two years, guest relations. Day-to-day -day basis, I'm part of the security staff here at Bank of America Stadium, uh, which entirely, you know, entails a lot of different things, uh, football side of security and security of the stadium. How's it going? To your left, all the way to the end. Down there? I'm just, but you a vet though, so one o'clock gotta be punctual, here to the left. <laughs> hey! Now, he's supposed to be one of the leaders on the team. He gets here late. <laughs> we have four main posts. If you're here at post four, you're welcoming the visitors and players as they come. And due to the current situation that we have going on, only the players are allowed on this side. So basically today, it's making sure that only players and coaches and the proper tiered staff can enter on this side of the stadium. This is like a quarantined area. So, so we just get you to turn around. And I, by the time you get over there, I'll see if I can get a number for you, okay? okay. All right. Okay. To the left, to the bottom. We got you. Hey. Going on both to the left, all the way to the end. What the players will do is they will drive up or walk up to the registration and then complete their registration as well as daily screening for questions, symptoms, and then exposures. You're all set, 98.2. How's it going? Good. This is your tracker. Um, it's not a GPS tracker. We don't know where you're going, what you're doing. It's just um, in proximity to other trackers. So make sure that the light is on the outside. Right now it's blinking because these are too close. So you're gonna wanna stay six to 10 feet away from everybody um, and it'll stop blinking at that point. So you'll be wearing it all day. When you come here, pick it up. When you leave, drop them off with us. But if you have any questions, just let us know. Okay. All right, Thank awesome. You. Thank you so much. So we're putting up signs because we're spread out and we're places that they've never been before. A lot of the players and coaches. So trying to make it as easy as possible. Not only are we trying to keep people away from football, but we're trying to keep football away from getting close to other people in the organization that aren't in football. So a continuation of the green light is just when these guys get up here and they're walking, they can easily see directional arrow and they'll keep going to the 300 level, which will be the meeting rooms and meal rooms. So that's where most of the work will happen off the field this summer.
let's do this, guys. Let's give uh, Eddie Levins an opportunity to speak uh, a couple of words to you guys, our infection control officer. Eddie, would you uh, take the mic? Got it, Coach. Appreciate it. Hello, man. Glad to see everybody back. Uh, just so you all are aware, uh, part of my responsibility, for those of you that don't know me, I'm normally just the security director for the team. Uh, but with this infectious control uh, responsibility, it's kind of changed a little bit. It needs to be safe, and, and you need to feel that it's safe. And if there's something that, that comes up that you feel like is that needs attention or you have a question about or you want to know about, I'd be more than happy to talk about what we're doing, why we've done it. If I tell you to put your mask on, I'm just saying it because I love you. So keep it up. Thanks, Eddie. We're looking forward to Saturday. Do you guys getting in the building? There's a lot of changes. He and his staff have done with the building, guys. It's pretty incredible. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. The number one priority is to make this the safest stadium we can possibly make it. People need to feel safe, and it needs to be safe. And we need to we need to set up protocols. We need to follow protocols, and we need to, we need to make sure that we're doing all the steps every day to make sure that this is the safest place. If the players don't feel safe coming back, they won't. If they don't come back, there's no football. Yeah, so all I have to do is just pull the shrink wrap off of it. Uh, we might be able to just pull it off. The more space we have, the more light it needs. Light doesn't reflect, it doesn't bounce off of uh, painted walls or carpeting. It's gonna get all the good, bad, and uglies in a room. Everything from black mold to staff to VRE. Yeah. What's the recommended frequency to do like a locker room? And, you know, like once a week, twice a week? I'd be, if, I mean, look, you guys sink, you know, uh, some capital into this. If you could do it every day, do it every day. An absolute minimum three days a week is literally select that room, hit submit, hit continue, and then this green button. Run one cycle, and we can walk out that door. We're fortunate that we have spaces throughout the stadium that allow us to spread out our operation. We're doing that by utilizing our normal space downstairs, but we've also expanded to the 300 and 400 level. Each position group has their own club or lounge space where they're able to come and meet together as a group. Our meeting space that we previously have used, guys are shoulder to shoulder within the meeting room. Now being able to bring everyone up here to the club level, we've got people spread out to where we're at, seven, eight feet so that guys are able to spread out, have their own personal space within a meeting room and social distance comfortably. One of the things that we've done that we think is pretty unique is providing every player with their own suite to use. Right now I'm in Christian McCaffrey's suite um, and he and the rest of the veterans are spread out across the suites on the 300 level. And then our first year and rookie players are up in some of the suites on the 400 level. So guys can come in here, they can meet virtually, they can study their playbook, they can watch film. It's their, it's their space to use, it's their personal space. There's multiple TVs in each suite so that guys are able to, uh, to see the schedule, to see other messaging that we're posting for them. So the biggest thing is that even though we might not be able to be in the same room together, we're all in the building together. In my history, to, to get to be a championship as a head coach, it's usually taken me three years. I don't want to wait three years. I don't want to have to sit there and say, okay, well, let's do this. I want to, I want to try to do it right away. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to take guys coming in Coaches, players, staff, we're all talented, but people who are committed to saying, I'm going to do exactly what I'm asked to do. If I have questions, I'm going to ask. If I have something bothers me, I'm going to go talk to them about it. But most importantly, I'm going to be someone people can trust, and I'm going to freaking trust the people around me. That That's how any organization builds greatness. Trust, trust, trust. Are you you doing virtuals with everybody though? With those? Yeah, they've been the, the vets have been in the meetings all week. Yeah, they've been in virtual meetings all week. So People they've been they've been good about it. Have you talked to? Have you? I don't know it's kind of a funny year, right? You can't really stop the team in the building and talk. I don't know how that that's running, right? Yeah, not so far. I mean, I, I've done like um, like I mean, if I, I I pick up the phone, I'll call guys. I mean, I talked to Christian the other night. I talked to Trey the other night. I mean, I, I try to make sure I. But but I think once they get here, it'll be way easier. 
And I talked to Haynes yesterday, just once they're here, even if they're in their own suites, I can go around and see guys in their suite. If they're in the rooms, you know, guys, <laughs> guys have to get to know you, you know. I mean, How those guys not get too comfortable in those suites, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I figured, I figured at some point you'd have them sign the suite, like, hey, I, you know. Well, I mean, yeah, they're get the, there's, there's guys that, are, you know, it's probably pretty interesting. I'm sure the people who um, who have the suites will probably want to know who was in their who suite. Who was in my suite, that's exactly right. Thinking about it, that, you know, that we should probably, uh, yeah. and of course, of course, the suites will be. Yeah. You know, oh, we clean. They clean well, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be so disappointed when they find out it was like me or Sean Padden or somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll uh, I'll check in with you again. You know? Yeah, hope, yeah. <laughs> I'll, let you know, I'll let you know how. I'll let you know. We'll, we'll hopefully, I'll hear from you next early next week with the vets too. I'm excited oh, to see them get in here. You know. No, you'll hear from me. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Today's a big day for the Carolina Panthers and their fans. Veterans will report to training camp. The Panthers continue testing players for COVID-19 today as training camp begins around the NFL. Back to work. Go. your job, wear a mask.